So in this problem, we're told to find the integral from 0 to 10 of f of x times dx if f of x is equal to 6 for when x is less than 6 and x for when x is greater than 6. So in order to solve this, what you need to do, since we have like a piecewise function here, is we want to split it into two different integrals. So we're going to start at our bottom, so bottom of our range, all the way up until the point where it splits. So in this case, it splits at 6. So we go from 0 to 6. Then we're going to do another integral from the value that we stopped at, so 6, up until our maximum to our upper bound, which in this case is 10. And then we're going to rewrite what f of x is from this range. So from 0 to 6 tells us when it's less than 6, it's just going to be 6. dx, and then for this one, 6 to 10, when it's greater than 6, it's just going to be x. And then dx. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add these together. So let's find the integral of this one first. So the antiderivative of 6 is just going to be 6x. Then we do plus c, but we don't. We can ignore that. And then what we need to do is test it from 6 to 0, or from 0 to 6. So we got to check it from 6, see what it is, and then subtract whatever 0 is plugged into it. So if we plug in 6, 6 times 6 is 36. Then we plug in 0, we're going to subtract that. So 0 times 6 is 0. So it's just 36 minus 0, which equals 36. And so the answer to this one is going to be 36. And then we're going to add it to the value of this one. So let's do this one. So uh, the antiderivative of x is going to be x squared over 2. Then we add c, but we can ignore it. And we got to check it from 6 to 10. So let's do 10 first. So if we plug in 10, 10 squared is going to be 100. 100, and then we divide it by 2, so it's going to become 50. Then we minus 6, whatever 6 plugged in. So 6 squared is 36. Then we divide by 2, so it's going to be 18. And that's going to be equal to 32. So the value of this integral is going to be 32. And then 36 plus 32 is going to be equal to 68. So the answer to this problem is going to be 68. And this is how you solve it.